So fusarium ear rot is kind of an emerging problem in the Corn Belt. Uh, we're seeing more and more of it every year. I think it's something that um, we're, we're putting a lot more attention on uh, these days. And it's, again, it's one of the reasons why we've We've come out to the market with Maravis Neo that contains the adepidin technology that's actually very active on fusarium, whether it's from fusarium ear rot or whether it's gibberella, uh, you know, which is just different species, but they both impact corn and they can cause this contamination of mycotoxins. It's really important, uh, you know, that you, ma that you manage this mycotoxin. If you've had this problem in the past or you've had it in your area, then it might be something you need to take a look at. And, you know, of course, it affects the, the actual ear of corn, it causes a colonization in there, so it really ruins the quality of the grain, and, and again, it leaves behind these really dangerous mycotoxins that are essentially toxins. And so, um, you know, we want to make sure that we continue to keep uh, keep an eye out on that, and there are fungicides, like I said, that Maribus Neo can control fusarium ear rot, and also the other leaf spots, but it will ensure that you have a, a much cleaner corn crop uh, and free of, of mycotoxin contamination that's from fusarium ear rot or gibberella.